Hey, Abby, come here. You got a letter in the mail. It's from the government. What'd you do this time? Nothing, I don't think. For once in my life, I haven't committed any crimes recently. Oh my god, no! What's wrong? Are you going to jail? Wait, did they find out you were the one who spray painted those cuss words on that playground? No, they'll never find out that was me. This is worse. I've been chosen for jury duty! Jury duty? No way. You've got to get out of that. Oh, I definitely will. No way am I fulfilling my civic duty. Hello, you've reached the local government office. How may I help you? Yes, my name is Abby Bominable, and I was recently summoned for jury duty next week, but I can't attend. Okay, Mrs. Bominable, do you have a document and excuse, such as a work obligation or a medical reason, that you can't participate in court? Uh, no. I just don't want to go. Ma'am, unless you have a valid excuse, you're legally required to show up for jury duty. Isn't not wanting to go a valid excuse? I have better things to do with my time, like watch Netflix all day! Well, that's up to you, but if you don't show up, you can expect to be fined or worse. We'll see you in court on your scheduled date next week. Well, thanks for nothing! Ugh! Oh man, I can't deal with this. Ma'am, are you one of the jurors on this case? Unfortunately, I am. Then please make your way over to the jury box. The trial will begin shortly. Well, hello, my fellow unfortunate souls. Wait, Heath? And Jackson? Hmm, maybe jury duty will be interesting after all. Okay, everyone, court is now in session. Today, we are here for a criminal trial and to determine whether or not the court finds the defendant, Heath Burns, guilty of a crime. The plaintiff, Jackson Jekyll, believes that Heath Burns is guilty, so we will look at the evidence and hear witness testimonies to see if the jury agrees. Now, if our lawyers are ready to proceed, we will begin with an opening statement from the prosecutor representing Jackson Jekyll. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to imagine a scenario for a minute. Imagine you're having a great day. The weather is delightful, and you've just bought a delicious ice cream cone from an ice cream parlor. You're crossing the street in a crosswalk, enjoying your ice cream cone, when all of a sudden, a car speeds by and rams right into you, knocking you down. You drop your ice cream cone and fall limp in the middle of the road. You slowly peel your injured, aching body from the concrete, only to see that the car that hit you has sped off, leaving you to become roadkill. Well, this scenario is exactly what Heath Burns did to the plaintiff, Jackson Jekyll. Oh. Oh, come on! He's making it sound like I'm some kind of monster! Mr. Jekyll was extremely injured after being hit and is currently suffering from a broken arm and leg. Doesn't this heart-wrenching story make you want justice for Mr. Jekyll? We ask that Heath Burns, the person who hit Jackson Jekyll and fled the scene, be found guilty and be served with an appropriate punishment for the damage he's done to our victim. Thank you. Ha ha ha! Oh, that is a funny story! Quiet in the jury, please. This is not a laughing matter. Now, the defense attorney will present her opening statement. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I believe the prosecutor has painted a misleading picture for you all today. It is true that Mr. Jackson Jekyll was hit by a car, but the defendant, Heath Burns, is not some sort of heartless monster. Mr. Burns was not driving recklessly and simply did not see Mr. Jekyll entering the crosswalk where he was hit. Mr. Burns only fled the scene out of fear and did not intend for Jackson Jekyll to be harmed. We ask the jury to reconsider the facts of this case and ask that Mr. Heath Burns can learn from this experience and not have his life ruined by a simple mistake. Thank you. You're dismissed. Now we will begin the cross-examination and look at the evidence of the case. I'd like to call the defendant Heath Burns to the stand. Remember what we discussed. Show remorse and act innocent. Oh, I've totally got this! Mr. Burns, the prosecutor will now approach the stand and ask you questions about the crime. Please answer truthfully and to the best of your ability. Um, duh! You think this is the first time I've been to court? <laughs> Mr. Burns, when you were driving on the day you hit Jackson Jekyll, why did you not yield to him in the crosswalk? Well, I didn't see him! He jumped right out in front of me! I was paying attention to the road and everything! It was his fault for not looking both ways when he crossed the street! And Mr. Burns, isn't it true that you've had your driver's license suspended before for this exact same reason, hitting pedestrians in a crosswalk? Um, yeah, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. That was a one-time mistake. Well, it obviously wasn't a one-time mistake because it's happened again. Are you aware that it's a law to always yield to pedestrians in a crosswalk? 
No, and I don't see why I should have to memorize all the rules of the road. That's expecting way too much of me. Oh, come on. So you admit to ignoring the rules of the road and illegally hitting Jackson Jekyll while he was crossing the street? No, I won't admit to anything because there's no way to prove that I was the one who actually hit Jackson. Your Honor, could you please show the jury the video I provided you with? Ladies and gentlemen, please watch this video showing the security camera footage of the day Jackson Jekyll was hit. Look out! Ah! Jackson! Wait, come back! Now, as you can clearly see in the video, that is obviously you, Heath Burns, driving the car that hit Jackson Jekyll. Fine, so maybe it was me who hit Jackson. So what? It was an accident. So, Mr. Burns, you admit to driving while distracted and hitting Mr. Jekyll? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I may have hit Jackson, but I was not distracted. Your Honor, please zoom in on Heath Burns in the security camera footage. Mr. Burns, the footage shows you texting and driving when you hit Mr. Jekyll. This is clearly distracted driving. Um, texting and driving does not mean I was distracted. I'm a great multitasker. Plus, I wasn't texting. I was trying to cue up some Britney Spears songs on Spotify. Ugh, let's move on. After you hit Mr. Jekyll, you fled the scene. Why didn't you stay to make sure he was okay? Well, I had just placed a Starbucks mobile order and I needed to get there quick to pick it up. I was in a hurry because I didn't want my Frappuccino to melt before I could get to it. Duh. Okay, Mr. Burns, I think I've heard enough. No more questions, Your Honor. You're dismissed, Mr. Burns. Would the defense like to call any witnesses to the stand? We do have a witness, Your Honor. We'd like to call Holt Hyde to the stand. Okay, Mr. Hyde, you may approach the stand. Mr. Hyde, do you swear that the evidence you provide shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Uh, yeah, I do. Now please explain your version of events on the day that Heath Burns allegedly hit Jackson Jekyll. After you do so, the prosecutor will ask you a series of questions. Yeah, so I actually have a different story that proves Heath's innocent. Heath couldn't have been the one to hit Jackson because he was chilling at my bachelor pad all day. We were watching RuPaul's Drag Race during the time of the crime, so he's totes innocent. Mr. Hyde, if your claim that Heath was at your house all day is true, then how do you explain the security camera footage that shows him in the car that hit Jackson? You know, that's a good question, homie. I'm thinking the footage was just too blurry to be sure that was Heath in the car, you know? Mr. Hyde, Heath admitted himself to hitting Jackson in his car. How does this line up with your story at all? Um, well, oh man, I can't do this. Sorry, Heath. Look, Heath offered me a thousand bucks to make up a story to try and get him out of this. He wasn't at my house at all that day. Actually, no one was at my house that day because the government declared it a health hazard and an unsafe environment for any living thing. Are you kidding me, Holt? I thought I could trust you not to snitch on me like that. You bribed someone to be your witness? Are you trying to lose this case? Wow, a defendant bribing someone to act as a witness. That's a new one. I think we're done here. You're dismissed, Mr. Hyde. I'd now like to call the plaintiff to the stand so our defense attorney can begin the cross-examination. Mr. Jekyll, right before Heath struck you with his car, what were you doing? Oh, I remember this. I was eating my ice cream cone and then I started to cross the street. And are you aware that even though pedestrians have the right of way in a crosswalk, you still have to look both ways before you cross the road? Is it possible you didn't look before you crossed? Oh no, I always look both ways. My mommy taught me that. But I guess I might have been a little distracted since I was eating my ice cream. Maybe I should have seen Heath's car coming. So you admit to being distracted when you crossed the road? If you're at fault for this accident, then why are you pressing charges against Heath Burns? Oh, I don't want Heath to get in trouble for what he did to me. It was my lawyer's idea to press charges in the first place. I think Heath should get the lightest possible punishment if he's found guilty. Mr. Jekyll, are you saying this accident was not Heath's fault? Yeah, I really should have been more careful when I was crossing the street. Oh my god. And finally, Mr. Jekyll, when Heath drove away after the accident, why did you not attempt to go after him or get him to stop? Well, a lot of my bones were broken, so it was hard for me to get off the road. I wasn't sure if he had noticed he'd hit me, and I didn't want to mess up his plans just because I wasn't careful enough when crossing the street. Interesting. No more questions, Your Honor. Would the prosecutor like to call any witnesses to the stand? Yes, we have two witnesses today. We'd like to call Frankie Stein up to the stand first. Mrs. Stein, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Now please tell us your version of events on the day Jackson was hit. 
Well, Mia Jackson had just gotten ice cream cones and we went outside. We went to cross the street and I saw Heath speeding towards us in his car. I moved out of the way just in time, but Jackson didn't see the car coming towards us. Immediately after Jackson got hit, I called the police. OMG, Jackson! Hello, 911? I need help right away! My boyfriend just got hit by a hot pink convertible and he's lying in the street! And that's pretty much all that happened. By that time, Heath had already driven away. Mrs. Stein, you said that you saw Heath Burns' car coming and were able to move out of the way, correct? Yeah, I tried to warn Jackson, but he didn't hear me in time. If you were able to avoid getting hit by the car, but Jackson wasn't, is it possible this was your fault and not Heath's? Did you push Jackson into the crosswalk where he was hit? Objection! <laughs> the security camera footage clearly shows that Miss Stein did not push Jackson into the crosswalk. Fine. Miss Stein, how did you know it was Heath in the car that hit Jackson? If he sped away so quickly, how did you manage to see who it was? Well, I recognized his car since we lived together. I also know that his license plate number is Swaggy with a dollar sign, so I could tell that it was him when he drove away. No more questions, Your Honor. You're dismissed, Miss Stein. We also have another witness. We'd like to call Raven Queen to the stand. Okay, Raven Queen, you may approach the stand. Oh, hey, Raven. Hey, Abby. Miss Queen, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Now please tell us your version of events. Okay, well, I was sitting outside at a cafe and I noticed Jackson and Frankie walk by. I saw them start crossing the street and then I saw Heath's car run into Jackson. It was pretty fun to watch. Miss Queen, when you saw Heath's car coming towards Jackson, did you try to warn him so he wouldn't get hit? No, there wasn't enough time. Plus, it was hilarious to see him get hit. I wouldn't want to stop that. And what did you do right after the crash? Did you attempt to help Mr. Jekyll? Nope, but I did take some pictures of the accident. Oh my god, this is hilarious. And what did you do with the pictures that you took? I posted them on Instagram. What else is there to do? Your Honor, please show the jury the pictures that Miss Queen posted on Instagram and read the captions. The caption of the first photo says, Ha ha ha, just saw this fool get run over by a car right in front of me. I got front row seats to the funniest show ever. I guess it's my luckiest day. Hashtag hit and run. The caption of the second photo says, This is the greatest thing I've ever gotten to witness. LOL. Someone should probably help this dude up. I'm not gonna do it though. <laughs> Good one, Raven. Order in the court, please. <sighs> I think I've seen enough. No more questions, Your Honor. You're dismissed, Miss Queen. It's now time for the jury to review the evidence and come to a verdict. Court is dismissed until further notice. Jurors, please come with me. Jurors, it's time for all of you to decide whether or not you find the defendant guilty. Take as much time as you need to come to a unanimous verdict. Well, I think Heath Burns is definitely guilty. Agreed. I say we find him guilty and request he get the death penalty. Uh, the death penalty? I don't think that's what we're supposed to be discussing here. Well, I'm not changing my mind on this. Is there anyone here that thinks Heath Burns is innocent? Well, this makes our job easy. Court is back in session. The jury has reached a verdict. Oh, please do not send me to prison. Orange is not my color. The jury finds the defendant, Heath Burns, guilty. No! Oh, ah! OMG! Order in the court, please. It's now time for Heath Burns' sentencing. Death penalty! Quiet in the jury. Heath Burns, I sentence you to 100 hours of community service. Additionally, your driver's license shall be suspended for one year. Court is now dismissed. Community service? No! I don't do community service! And you can't suspend my driver's license! I just put a payment down on a new G-Wagon! My life is ruined! That's it? Community service? Come on! Congratulations, Mr. Jekyll. We won the case. I'm happy about that, but I didn't know that Heath would get in trouble. Uh, that's the whole point of a criminal trial. Yay! Jackie, you did it! Great job! I can't believe we lost! You're supposed to be the best lawyer money can buy, but you didn't help me at all! You are fired! No, I quit. I'm not working with you again. You are by far the most insane client I've ever had to represent. Heath, 
Thank you so much for providing me with a day of free entertainment. This has been the greatest experience of my life. Oh, by the way, if you have the best lawyers money can buy and still lose the case, it probably means you're guilty. Heath, bro, I'm so sorry about what happened back there. I just get so nervous when I lie and they made me take an oath. Save it, Holt. I should have known not to trust a SoundCloud rapper with my future. Am I still getting paid? Not a chance. Beat it, Holt. Well, bye, Heath. It's been fun watching you suffer all day. Ugh! Wow, what a crazy day it's been, right? Jackson, don't even speak to me after what you've done! I have to do freaking community service and it's all your fault! I'm so sorry, Heath. I didn't mean for you to get in trouble. Oh, yeah, right! Try to run away now with your broken leg! <gasps> no!